Hello and welcome back to Let's Stream Civ 6. We were reviewing our great people and then we just noticed that Adam Smith is going to give us another economic policy slot. So our government's going to kick some major butt this game. Um, <laughs> of course, the problem is here's where we need people. <laughs> this is nice, but uh, we, we need to actually get great people in order to win. So musician, we're, we're getting a few points there. Let's also take a look and see what other wonders are going to help us. So typically with a cultural victory, you need to get Broadway. Okay. We need to get Hermitage. We would like to get the theater. It's just a lot that we need. Problem is with Sierra is so far ahead of us. Sydney's nice, but it usually doesn't happen. Like at that point, like that culture boost is too big. Because once you're, once you're, like it doesn't help you get anything. Like give me that culture boost back here somewhere. I don't know, whatever. So. We're going to go after natural history now. You can see that our uh, our policies are completing fairly quickly. But we can uh, find our antiquity sites. We need to build our archaeologists or buy. Uh, but they're really expensive. So. Um, all right. And then we've got a couple really nice builders. I guess, I guess we are going to go ahead and... No, we are going to do it in the capital, right? Isn't that what we decided? I think so. I think that's fine. Because that will give us um, synergy with this other one that we built. And we'll get more envoys. It's something. And we're also going to start exploring. So I'll let the commercial hub finish and then... And then we'll get started on that, baby. Mausoleum is so good. Um, and then I think we actually need to send this builder up to Paris and uh, improve their tiles since we're trying to sneak out wonders. Yeah, they need to mine there for production quite, quite badly. Absolutely no clue how we win this with him so far ahead. Hmm. Sure. Our scout can explore, so that's nice at, at least. Not deep water tiles though, right? All tourism yields from great works of writing are doubled. Yes, give us that, even though we only have two. Mm, what else can we do? Um, get him a farming triangle. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. How many cities does he have? Probably like a million. Wow. <laughs> Why is this? Okay. Okay. Here you go. Here's here are things the consistency things that I'm talking about. Why in all caps? Why are you yelling my city name at me? Why? Like <laughs> just stupid stuff like that. And, and it ultimately doesn't matter, but it's just like, fix it. Uh -oh. Suzerain shift. The enforced spread of the rule of reason. But who is going to spread it among the colonizers? I like it, Harry. 
Everybody should do the Suzerain challenge, or the, uh, the Suzerain challenge, the A to V challenge. <laughs> yeah, there's no Z leader. No Z leader. All right, um, let's get them a mine here to replace this one. It must have just grown there. Yeah, you have to play. I don't think we're going to win with every sieve either. I was happy that we won with Alexander. That was that was good. It is quite difficult on Deity to do that. All right. Um, she wants open borders. That's really not something we are interested in. But trading away things that we have hmm. seems like a good idea. Um, although, could we just trade? I think we do have amenity issues, right? Would you give me spices? No. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Let's 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 do a round of trading here. And boop. We've got some good farms. Give them more housing, and we are in fact working those. So that's nice. And then we can go improve this rice as well. Greece is this is this the Greek settler? Is this her? <laughs> is this her original third settler? <laughs> she can't she I don't even know if she can found anywhere. You can technically put a city up here. <laughs> Dude, Jeb, I have I have thought about that a million times. So Jeb asked, uh, would it be fun or popular to have modded civs with actual leaders like Merkel for Germany, Trump for America, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I've thought about making a cheeky version of of at least Trump, right? Because you could do, I mean, it, it, it writes itself. You've got the make America great again thing and, and you can you could be cynical about it and make them negative policies and stuff like that. But uh, I, I think that would be fun. I've thought about that quite often. You could do Canada, right? Like have uh, have Trudeau. You know, he's 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 a a charismatic dude. Like I don't know. There there are just a million things you could do with it. That would be really fun. Yeah, Trump would anger a lot of players. Obviously, he's a he's a figurehead of controversy. But uh, I think it would be funny. <laughs> yeah, you could do, you could do the wall, do the wall like China. All right, let's try to steal some money. This could help us buy, perhaps, uh, one of our archaeologists. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 think, I think that would be quite funny. I've thought about, you know, creating them myself, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to program, right? I would just, uh, I would just come up with the policies or whatever. I think it'd be funny. What does he want? Opportunist. He's just unfriendly. He's a fascist already. Oh my god. What are you? Theocracy. Yeah, she's going for religion. Theocracy. All right. It's just this jerk face who's in the lead. Ooh. Really? I wonder if he is at war with uh, Alexander and experiencing some some issues on account of that. Please don't come after me. I don't really want to deal with you. Dynamic leader with like changing of eras. Your your leader or your skills change. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. I think it probably a little bit too complicated to be actually you know, uh, viable for a lot of people. Like, this game's complicated enough. They're, like, most people that come in and watch stream or whatever are just trying to learn because they got it and they love it, but they have no idea how to play it. Um, and then there are some people who stick around for, you know, the charisma. But, uh, 
you know, most people, most people just want to learn. I like that idea. I think that'd be a cool mod to have dynamic leaders through the era. I think that'd be really cool. Bradford is again facing a siege. All right, so finally have a theater square here. I mean, we may as well just try to finish it off. And they're definitely going to get an art museum. So you put the art museums in your lower production cities so that um, they don't have to also produce archaeologists. It's cost 400 production. So it's quite a bit. It's no small amount. Victoria has been defeated. Oh, man. Dude, I would liberate I would liberate London just to bring her back. Had I been present at the creation, I would have given some useful hints for the better so ordering of the universe. So, we now have antiquity sites and we can go and dig them up and get culture and tourism when we put them in our archaeological museums. Um, we have one here in Paris already. So, yeah, 1300 or 17 turns out of our highest production city for an archaeologist. So, and they only have the three extractions, right? So they go, they harvest three things, and then they're done. Um, so we can grab that. And you'll see, based on where they are, um, they will have an, an origin to them. Wow, we're sparse on them. Usually there are more. We're going to have to find some overseas. Um, based on where they are, they're going to have like a city attached to them, and then you can theme them um, with some rules that we'll, we'll take a look at eventually. We have a few. But they're mostly going to be ours, and you need different sieves to be able to theme them. You want, I think, same era, different origins uh, to, to theme properly. The theming was also really bugged last last time when we played Congo and tried to go for a uh, cultural victory. All right. Um, now that we have natural history, we could come back here and try to get the theater. But that is a long, long journey. And I don't think we want to deal with it. So... Where is, is opera and ballet? Okay, yeah. See, this would be six behind. Yeah, we'd have to really go through the ages here. Now, getting another spy would be quite nice. Yeah, we may have to do that eventually. I also think... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know now. Maybe we do go get another spy. The option otherwise is to just... Oh, we have to. We have to backtrack. All right. All right. Well, we have the option of building this thing, which is nice. Like I said, the only Hi. downside is that you can't uh, theme it. Ebus Radical... Radical... Radical Zundi? I don't, I don't know how to say your name at all, but thank you for the follow. I don't mean to shame you and disgrace you by not knowing how to pronounce things. I'm just bad at words. I don't words good. Later, Harry Joe. Harry OG. Peace out. He'll be back. Kappa. Does that mean he's not coming back? CQUI has a lens for artifacts? Really? Ooh. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mustang Fastback. That is a helpful. See over that. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. This is the actual best. Okay. So archaeologists. Yeah, so these are all going to belong to us. We might we might get one for the city-state here and there. Those are certainly going to be ours. These could be London's or ours. These could be the Greeks. Hmm. 
It's German, don't worry. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but welcome. Sorry for butchering your name. You guys know I, I don't pronounce, I don't, I don't words too good. I, I words bad. Alright, what do we want here now? Um, we finished our archaeological museum. We could, man, 28 turns for one sounds so brutal. But I think we do need to get started on it. 85 turns, oof. Also get another trader. Art museum. Amphitheater. My thought with getting the archaeological one here is that we could get a decent industrial zone here. Maybe we do need another builder. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Twenty nine turns. How do we squeeze any more production out of the city? Hmm. That's not gonna help then. Ebus Radial Sunday. History is the version of past events that people Sunday. have decided to agree upon. Um, I think for now, let's go ahead and give do a mine here. Probably get rid of it later. Wish we could see into his cities. Can we get another spy yet? No. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, well. It's going okay. No! Oh no, that's not the one we're getting. Whew. Dodged a bullet. Oh yeah, we're gonna shop around, uh, I forgot we're gonna shop around our resources. I doubt, <laughs> why, why does he have everything every game? She didn't really like us either. Who who likes us? Nobody? Wow. I mean, he has basically nothing. Would he trade whales? Hmm. Maybe we do that. So would you do this and this? Oh, wait. Deal more equitable. No, I'm not paying you. All right, let's just do a luxury trade then. Won't help with money, but uh, it will help our cities. I think that seems perfectly fine. And uh, I don't know. Do you like horses? No. Do you like horses? Oh, she has no money. Tamaris likes horses. Nobody likes horses, guys. All right, never mind. But that should be much, much easier on the amenity front now. Yeah, he's like so crazy about expanding. Um, all right, working on our art museum. 
or single swordsman. Shit. I was just thinking, like, we should probably upgrade our units. Oh boy. Alright, the good news is we have the extra defense. Holy balls. This is how you lose. I was literally just thinking we should upgrade our, our bows. It's all papers and forms. All right. The entire civil so we have like to. A fortress made of papers, forms, and red tape. We have to switch. Need to run our discount real quick. He has cavalry. It's obviously destroying our gold. Okay. Um, so now let's take the one turn and switch back. Hopefully generate some more gold somehow. How effective. Oh my god. Really? We have frankly terrible walls. I thought the bombard strength would help more than this. And of course we can't build walls, right? If, the AI, if it was the AI, they could build whatever walls they wanted to. Even while being sieged. Oof, I think we lose here. <laughs> oh, man. So, just because we're at war, I guess we can't build walls? That's really lame. I think that's stupid. You should still be able to at least build walls. Like, I get it if you get attacked and you don't want to build walls or something, but just because they're at war, I don't know. It seems stupid. All right. Um, what can we build? I guess military to help, possibly. Yeah, I, there's not a lot I can do about that at the, at the moment. Not a lot I can do about it could try to trade. He likes us a little bit more now. We just traded this stuff, though. Give us a piddly amount of gold. She doesn't have gold either. Why won't you give me things? Hard to build a wall if your city's being sieged. Yeah, no, I get that, but we we got declared on. We haven't we haven't suffered a single attack yet, and it won't even let me pick it. Yeah, it's my fault. I was eyeing the walls a while ago. We were cruising along with uh, very little care. All right, and then we'll have another trader in three turns. So okay. Once you reach civil engineering, you can't build walls anymore. No kidding. Is that what it is? Oh. Okay. So then we're stuck with our ancient walls. Would it would it matter if we would have built better walls? Oh dear lord. Oh my god. Well, this is how we lose. suffers only because he takes seriously 
Well, the yeah, he's got. He's just too fun. far ahead in every way, shape, and form here. Look at this. Look at how. Look at how pathetic these attacks are. None of this is gonna help. None of this is gonna help. Yeah, our, our attacks. See, and this is why I really don't think that the cultural victory on deity is viable right now. I mean, we could have teched up a little bit more in the tech tree as far as getting the next era of of this. But then how do you, how do you like, I don't know. You have to get to radio, you need your broadcast towers, and then and then you don't have any science to do any of this stuff on the bottom. Yeah. This is a GG. This is a GG. Rip Bordeaux is right. <laughs> Rip Bordeaux. He's he's in the industrial era. He has cavalry. Like we'd have to go for this, but look at how look at how far. We're too far. We just we just cry now. We just lose and cry. At least with uh, like science or militaristic strategy, you stay strong with your army. You can bully people. You know, if nothing else, you nuke people and then you win. See the Alexander game. Um, is anything at all going to help us? Probably not. Probably not. We can levy your military. You have a pretty, pretty bad military. Thousand, thousand gold. Yeah, I know. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the Renaissance walls. I do have medieval though. Fifty outer defense, fifty outer defense. Fifty outer defense. I don't think it would even matter. Even if we had the better walls, I don't I don't think we'd be okay. Oh well. Sure. So okay. I, I I have a question about that Mustang fastback. Does does that make the wall obsolete, or do you still have that extra? Let's say you have Renaissance walls in the city. Do you have an extra hundred and fifty siege power with that with those walls, or does it make those walls obsolete? That's what I'm curious about. Oh my god, and we're going to get sieged up here too. He just has everything in this game. <laughs> the 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 bells of doom ring out as we as we slowly get slaughtered. But at least we have gold. Oh. Genevieve, you're so good. I wish I wish we could do Ooh, Cat Burglar. <laughs> what can we do anything at all that's gonna help? I don't think so. I think we are just at his mercy.
Well, we will do what we can. So we so you only get the bombardment strength with the walls, but but you can't build them anymore after that? That seems weird. That seems real weird. Pillaging my stuff and killing my units. I'm so sad. Well, our wall health is good. It's just our ability to kill things is not. Right, you hide in the city. Insta kills our crossbows. Sad day. What can we attack here? Guess this. And he's he's totally promoted, right? Because he got the uh, the wonder with all the promotions. Um. Yeah, truly just getting to ballistics or something. It's the only way to do this. Yep. The units don't help us at all. I don't think there's even... I mean... I guess it helps a little. All of our trade routes are going to get pillaged, huh? never have great works. Ooh, there we go. Go to Manchester. Oh, yeah, I could I could run the extra. You're right. I should do that. So next turn we'll switch and run the uh run garrison or whatever for the extra strength. That would help a little bit. It's only like an extra 6 six or whatever but yeah not a bad idea so our, our walls are at least living right because they were only ancient walls so having that having uh, civil engineering is helping but our ability to siege them is quite quite bad all right so let's switch um and we are going to switch to do we even have it we don't even have it Oh, okay. So that's not an option. Let's just run our writer points. We'll just try to sustain this with our defended cities and uh, pray. Which is my favorite strategy in Civ. I do, I do uh, appreciate the suggestion, <clears throat> but we would have to go get that policy. Where is it? Uh, 
Where is it? I thought it was this one. I thought it was defensive tactics. Why don't I have bastions? It must have been obsoleted by something. Yeah. Oh well. That's another thing that they could make clear is is when things go obsolete. Because there seems to be a lot of it, but they don't at all tell you. Um, let's go after the knight. It's the one that is the weakest. Maybe, yeah, maybe because of civil engineering? Certainly. Certainly could be the case. Ow. Ooh. Owie. Owie. That hurt my walls. Oof. Garrison. <laughs> All the pillaging. I mean, oh my god, yeah, they're dead. They are just dead. Because it's, it's ranged, right? So we're certainly going to lose Leon. It's not going to matter what I build there. I'm not going to lie, I thought this would be a lot worse. As bad as this is, I felt like it was going to be a lot worse. Um, the problem is it's just going to wreck any chance we, we had at a victory strategy, I think. Yeah, it does look like he's going for that city straight. Yeah, booyah. It is rough. We're sad. Sure, start repairing that. I, I, if I had another complaint, it's that I really just don't feel like cultural victories are are viable on deity right now, and and it sucks because they're really fun to go for. But yeah, Rip. At least the city-state distracts him a little bit. Oof. <laughs> Oof. So Cleopatra next. It's all kind of just straightforward. We're just praying for our lives. And even if we live, is this really living? No. 
We will we will call this game soon. Oh, and he got the Forbidden City. He's just got too far ahead. He got way, Last way, build. way too far ahead. Battle. None of this helps, unfortunately. Sure. <laughs> steal some... Let's steal some books. Diplomacy, there are two kinds of problems, small ones and large go, ones. Go, Kumasai, live. The small ones will go away by themselves. Live. And the large ones, you will not be able to do anything about. Oh my goodness. Everything is awful. What? Oh, because it's pillaged. There we go. There's one thing with the production cues that's annoying. They get bugged out pretty, pretty easily. They like me because I'm getting my ass kicked. You guys are real helpful. So helpful. So with Cleo, should we go for another domination victory? It's either domination or space, in my opinion. Oh, and we lost. Alexander got the palace, so yeah, that's and that's that's the other part that makes uh, Catherine pretty crappy is that it's so hard to get wonders. Like, this is useless, this is useless, this is too late to be good, and the, yeah, she, like, she just has nothing, in my opinion. No redeeming qualities about her. Sure. We'll just see where this goes. But unless we get our cities back, I mean, even if we do, this isn't living. I thought we'd get totally bowled over. I mean, we did. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Persia, deal with my barbarians. He's just taunting me now. It's not very nice. Oh dear. Yeah, it's like turn 200. It's way too late to come back. It just takes so long to do the uh, cultural victory. Betwixt the stirrup and the ground, mercy I asked, mercy I found. Rip is ripe. My friends, Rip is right. Frankly, I would have been shocked if we could win this one, so I don't really feel too bad about it. 
kind of feel bad about the way it's happening, but <laughs> that's that's okay. Pillage my farm, you dick. She's impressed. She's impressed with the way we're getting slaughtered. Thank you. <laughs> Girl power. Let's unite. And no one else is even close to being able, like, yeah, the two of them are the warmongery ones. Maybe they could have kept each other in check, but instead they're on a totally different continent. Quickie. Thanks for uh, trying to will some luck my way. Here's our luck, guys. We're gonna steal some art. Steal the mask. Sure. Let's steal a mask. Meanwhile, at home, this is happening. Doing real good over there, spy. Like, he's seriously just like sitting at my doorstep taunting me now. It's very rude. But you also see the very erratic nature of the uh, of the AI. I mean, it'll give me a couple gold for a couple turns, but it's not obviously going to help in the long run. Probably just switch over and start the Cleo game, huh? I mean, we're not even really denting his military score. Like, and there's no way we, we build enough military to take these cities back, so it's just... It's GG. I think we should just call it. Yeah, we got the rebels up north. I mean, it just is what it is. I was literally that turn thinking about, like, oh, we should have a more current army. But that's why I would really just like to see, I think one of the balance changes that I would enjoy seeing is put some military units in the civics tree. You don't have to put a lot, but just something. Just something so that this strategy works a little bit. It, it's already the slowest victory strategy, and, and it's just completely handicapped by this. This exact thing. We didn't really have much of an option. We could have been a little bit more prepared with our military, but I don't think it would have been enough. Because if we would have split our tech and gone down here for the military units, we never get to flight, we never get to radio. It just doesn't work. The positioning of some of these things is uh, sad. But, hey... We'll call it here. Uh, we don't expect to win all these all these games, and uh, hopefully you still enjoyed it. Maybe took something away and learned a thing or two. But uh, here on stream, we're gonna start the Cleopatra game momentarily. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a glorious day. <laughs>